welcome Virgo Rose Burnett here mind body soul balance this is your brand new who is my soulmate what are they thinking and feeling reading and super excited to bring it to you now if you're brand new to my channel big welcome awesome to have you here if you like what you see hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell make sure my videos come through to you in your feed you regularly follow me you're rocking awesome and uh, I will just let you know there is a giveaway so for those of you that are subscribing as new members this month uh, you'll go into the draw to win the beautiful enchanted map oracle it'll also apply to those of you opting into my extended readings in the vip members area this month you'll also go into the draw and if you don't know what the extended readings are they are the monthly and mid-monthly extended versions they're about 35 to 50 minutes long deeply transformational inspirational motivational they're 5.99 for both of those i uh, get both of them together they come out separately of course every month and uh they're very yeah it's pretty much about investing in yourself yeah if you want to get higher guidance from me and a lot deeper in depth so if you want to uh, find out more about, about those you can just hit the join button on my channel or the very first link in the description box below now i haven't forgotten about those of you that have been following me for quite some time i thought well this is unfair really so you're going to go into the draw to win the beautiful fairy whispers oracle so if you've subscribed to my channel and you're a very positive community member in here watch out it could be you winning that so i will announce them randomly at the end of the month what else uh oh ten dollars off personal readings this month so if you want a reading that is attuned to your specific energy circumstances what's going on with in your life reach out there is a coupon code on here it's going to pop up all the info about booking is down below as well follow me on instagram come and say hi do a lot of daily motivation inspiration over there let's get started virgo now one of the reasons is that i'm super excited about this reading is that i have created my own love guidance oracle cards um, in terms of covering every aspect of different type of relationships you might be in what your soulmate's thinking about and the relationship influences so if you love this reading if you really enjoy it let me know i will bring them out every month if you're wondering about the timing of them whenever you're watching this is perfect for you if you're here as a cross watcher hello uh -huh. all right first up let's pull you some messages from spirit in terms of love from the lovers oracle what spirit wants you to know okay there's two here oh she's kind of resting deeply contemplative yeah and um, these two are very wound around each other there's kind of a snake going on here uh, the first one says if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so spirit saying what do you really want in terms of love yeah what are you looking for you've also got power which is this couple wrapped around each other you instinctively know what is right for you. You have the power to say no, to walk away at any time. So spirit saying it is very much about, it's up to you what suits you in terms of love, yeah? All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle in terms of the type of relationship you're in right now or relationships. Mm. you got the message to free yourself time to back take back control of your life um super interesting i think that was sitting in exactly the same position for leo releasing the past releasing attachments to others mm. you also have passion and chemistry here yeah so some of you are in a in a connection that there's a lot of chemistry going off mm. and spirit saying that uh there's divine timing happening in your love life right now, Virgo, and it's worth waiting for. Mm. Some of you, there's new love, yeah? If it is, it's quite passionate, yeah? you got the message just to stay positive and optimistic that this new love is going to come in and uh, you've also got a safe for you to love yeah open your heart up to receive the highest love of all sitting under free yourself 
So those of you coming out of a relationship single, Spirit saying open up to love. Yeah, there's love there for you. Mm, you've also got codependency going on, yeah. Uh, addictions are affecting your love life. That could be you. That could be the type of relationships you've been choosing for yourself, getting into, which just means that there needs to be some healing within self. Some balance. Often that can be karmic. Wow. you got true love here. Love of a lifetime. Spirit saying it's worth waiting for. Virgo. There's an amazing love coming in. Don't settle for less than what you're worth. Um, in terms of new love, you've got the message, let go of control. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So there's perfect timing going on. Your path has to align with your soulmate. Don't force things, rush things, push things. Be patient. Mm. And you've also got wedding. Yeah, situation involves marriage. So some of you, is we're talking about a marriage. Um, so we've got married couples here. We've also got, if we've got a true love coming in and you're single, it can certainly be leading to marriage. So we'll have a look at all aspects. Let's pull you some clarifiers from the Angel Answers Oracle. What is it Virgo needs to know? Two here. Mm. You've got a message, timeline within the next few weeks. Someone's coming in. It's going to be a great big fat yes. Passionate chemistry going off. Oh, yeah. And you got the message to choose a new direction. So Spirit's saying move forward. It's directly related to worth waiting for. There's a new love coming in. So uh, not pining over the old one. And to be assertive in love, put yourself out there. Particularly when it comes to new love. And you've also got the message to let go. Kind of interesting. Um, sitting over the wedding card. So let's pull some clarifiers on that. Some of you may be coming out of a marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got singles here. Uh, we've got new love. The free yourself can be, we will look at the those of you that are thinking about somebody from the past that you've broken up with, we will look at that connection, what's going on with them. We will look at new love. We will look at this marriage over here, particularly if it's relating to couples. Um, there's this beautiful true love coming out. And singles, of course. So first up, let's have a look at those of you that are thinking about someone and spirit saying you need to free yourself. Let's see what's going on with them. What is it that this person, this soulmate, is thinking? Mm. I obsess about you and check and up on you on social media. So they're still watching you, my love. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning to be a better person in relationships. So they could have done some things that really upset the apple cart, dare I say. So they're trying to work on themselves, recognizing that they need to change. Oh, and I will always treasure the memories. So they're very grateful for being in a connection with you. They're thinking the best of it. But certainly whenever it comes to, you know, I'm always treasuring the memories. They've done some forgiveness and coming back to this place of working on themselves. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at new love coming in. Let's have a look at the uh, soulmate you're connecting with coming towards you. Oh, sweet talker. I'm actually just here for a hookup. Watch that energy. Yeah, make sure you check the intentions of others, which might be why right next to that you've got divine timings happening in your love life. It was fun, but I didn't feel a deep connection. Okay, so you've got someone here that's going to, dare I say, wants to jump into bed with you and then run as quickly as they can because they just did it because they wanted a bit of fun. They were just like, oh, well, mm-hmm, oh, yeah. And I'm not over my ex, but I'm feeling lonely. Oh, darlings, run, 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 run from that one. Mm -hmm. God, watch the red flags on that one, my loves. Um, which is why Spirit's saying, wait, there's true love coming in. Let's have a look at this marriage we got going over here for those of you that are in a committed partnership. Where Spirit's saying, just let go of control. It's 
going on with your soulmate? What are they thinking? Mm, yeah, I need some space. Let me breathe. Spirit saying you've got to focus on you. Um, they need some time to themselves, their own interests. Okay, it says they have a secret. I have a secret, but I'm denying it. Something they're holding on to that they're not telling you. And I'm thinking about you right now with love in my heart. So they are thinking about you. Let's pull one more there. Something they're holding back they haven't told you. Oh, my heart and body burn for you. You are my everything. So they just really... They just need a little time, a little breathing space for themselves, my love. There's nothing major going on there. Give them that time, yeah? You focus on your friendships, your interests. And um, singles, hello, let's not forget you, my loves. Just watch out for Mr. or Mrs. I just want to jump into bed with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those of you in new connections. All right, this is your message, singles. My smile hides the fact I'm lonely and would love a partner. Oh, darlings. Cosmic hug. And healing every... Um, you're in healing right now. It says every day my light gets brighter and brighter. So you're doing some emotional healing right now. And take the time to heal. Spirit saying you're not ready yet, my loves. You're not ready, singles. That's why they're saying wait for a true love to come along. All right, let's have a look at the relationship influences happening right now with your soulmate. So let's have a look at the one that is you're thinking about but you're not with right now. You're separated from them. What's going on with them? Yeah, they're in a time of self-discovery. Yeah, they're learning about themselves. They're learning about the ways they've tripped themselves up, how they can grow from it, get better at relationships. Um, they've also got deception, so they may have done something deceptive. Third party. Mm -hmm. Being a bit stupid. And uh, they're in recovery right now, so they may have some addictions going on, alcohol, drugs, mm -hmm. physical Healing. All right, let's have a look at uh, Mr. Sweet Talker or Miss Sweet Talker over here. Can't be gender bias, really. This new love connection. What's going on with that? Oh, there's trust issues. Oh, hello, red flags. Massive trust issues with that one. Um, it could also feel like if they're playing out this, they may not just they may not trust in relationships, which means they're just not going to commit. Yeah, they're fearful. Yeah. They're working on their inner peace, but I say their inner peace is right out of balance, yeah? They need to find inner peace, yeah, and they're feeling very insecure. So it's not so much that they don't want a connection. Uh, they don't trust love right now, yeah, so they're not going to invest in it emotionally. All right, let's have a look at those of you that are married. Uh-huh. In this partnership over here, committed. Oh my God, heal the feminine. So interesting, right? So, girls, um, I'm going to give you a special message. Is let go of control because it's coming out on your side. Um, come more into your feminine energy. Stop criticizing, organizing everything. Want to control everything? Let go and let your partner breathe. For God's sake, for God's sake, let them breathe. Take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. Um, be fun, be flirty, get pretty. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, guys, if it's you that needs to heal the feminine, it's about how you're looking at feminine energy. I mean, we both genders can um, objectify and dehumanize masculine and feminine energy based on negative love experiences, yeah, um, and label people and things. So just be very mindful of that. It means there's some healing that you need to do around that. It's coming out quite a bit in terms of the love readings, I've got to say. Mm, and Spirit's saying you need to be more open, yeah, particularly to different experiences, trying new things. 
and to spend some time with your friends uh-huh and your partner wants to spend more time with his friends oh yes all right let's pull you some soulmate messages first up let's have a look at uh this soulmate over here that you're not with anymore that's working on him or herself uh, love generates love you will receive some positive confirmations of this in the next few days keep on loving and you will keep on receiving ever greater blessings in return they may reach out um i would suggest maybe to bring some closure to things tell you that they're working on themselves um this is for those of you connecting with a new love you are an angel of light before you i surrender past and future all that matters is this moment my heart is transformed every time you are near super interesting i think this person likes you but they're stuck in the past yeah and their energy is not great right now Okay, let's have a look at those of you in a committed partnership marriage. Oh, darling, you ready? Stop taking life so seriously. Achievements and possessions will pale into insignificance when your soul journeys back home to the light from, from which everything stems. So if you're focused on money and finances and career and what you have or don't have, Spirit's saying you've just got to just um, relax, enjoy life a bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Change your focus. All right, let's have a look at singles. What is your soulmate message? A loving thought triggers a loving response. Your love is felt and appreciated. An angel surrounds you. Are you ready? Listen, darlings, listen. And I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to pull this up as I read this. Can we see it? True love. A sacred union is born, the union of twin souls within a threefold flame. Do the healing. Wait, my darlings, you've got a twin flame coming in. Oh, my God, high five to that, singles. Twin flame. Mm-hmm. Don't settle for Miss or Miss Charming over here. Mm-hmm. No, no, you got a twin flame coming in, true love. All right, my loves, those are your messages. If you really enjoyed this reading, let me know. I'll bring it back to you next month. Uh-huh. Yeah. Stay safe. Mm -hmm. Lots of self-love. Look after yourselves. Much love from me to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to win those Oracle decks. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye for now. Namaste.